Hello everyone, everyone. Welcome to the uh, Blue Bill Training. This is Shiva. In this video, I am going to explain you about how to handle data in Excel. See, I have a requirement like this. The requirement says, uh, uh, the requirement is a sales data handling Excel. See, the requirement is, I have three Excel sheets which contain sales data that have few similar rows, few empty data and few rows with empty columns. I need to code to get all the data into one Excel sheet without duplicates and null values or delete the rows with null columns. See, in this exercise, we will see uh, deleted duplicates and uh, deleting empty rows and null, uh, null rows. Okay. Fine. Uh, see, let me show you how to handle this one. So, before uh, working on this exercise, I will show you what is the uh, Excel sheet data. Okay. This is my Excel sheet data. See, these are the 10 records I have. In this, I have three. Uh, uh, I, I, I have three records which are repeating actually. See, for example, units 95. Uh, it is been repeating here with the same content, and uh, there is one more record 36. Uh, units 36, which has been repeating here as well. Okay, and there is one more record uh, central. Uh, this unit 27 has been repeating again. So I need to delete these three duplicate uh, records out of 10. Okay, and then the second sheet there are empty uh, row, rows and there are some uh, rows which doesn't have data kind of empty uh, and null rows. Okay, so to handle this scenarios, okay, I how can we handle this? So here, first I'll get the actual data to the collection. To do that, I'll take an action. I'll create an instance. Go to MS Excel Review. Create instance. Create an number. Take another action. my workbook is already there in one location so I'll directly open that workbook so here I'll uh, I'll uh, enter the uh, locate color file path copy it Sheet is available in sheet one. The data is available in duplicate data is available in sheet one. I'll take the data as data collection of data. Then I'll take another action for uh, copy first five rows. To do that, I'll go for utility collection manipulation. Copy rows 0, 5, and uh, this is the data. I will get the collection. See here, why I am taking copy rows is I'll split this collection data into two halves so that I can compare. Uh, uh, for the record duplicate records if I find the duplicate records I'll delete it
here starting position and number of rows is very important you should make, make sure that you are in proper uh, uh, this starting position and the number of rows it and test it first uh, let me uh, sample and i'll do it see i got the data these are 10 records i have got it where it has a 95 repeating 95 36 repeating 36 and 27 repeating 20, 27 so what i'm doing is my logic is i am splitting these 10 records into two halves so that the first half uh, uh, will uh, search the data and second half like you know like you know uh, the first record will come and it will uh, search uh, in this five records uh, whether this one 95 is there in this five record it will delete okay then second will come it will search in the rest of the uh, in the second half records which are what are the available records if it is there that record will be deleted from second half that's my logic here so what i'm doing here is i'll take a loop I'll take another loop. for uh, output collection and the loop 2 I'll go for output collection 1 and here I'll take a decision in the decision I will in the decision I will take all the fields and compare with the first of uh, records with second of records I'll take all the fields okay let me those uh, copy those red records I'm comparing uh, the data, first half data with second half by uh, giving these conditions. Okay, and I'll take uh, one more action to remove the duplicates. Remove duplicates. I'll go for uh, IPOs collection. Remove rows. I'll take it from collection one and delete. So I'll remove the row from collection one and link it and I'll test it. Yes. Let's see. Let's test this. First file, second file. Yes. Observe here. First record of first half is comparing with second half, and it is finding and deleting if there is an equal row. Now second record been repeating with the second half. As I told you that in the second half 
there are three records which you will be repeating. If you uh, take out those records, you will get only two, the rest two. two. So we got uh, two rows. The three records which are repeating here have, have been deleted or deleted. Okay. So this is one uh, like in this way we can uh, you can delete the duplicates next we'll see how to uh, uh, remove uh, empty uh, empty rows and uh, uh, empty rows and null values okay deleting duplicate this this way you can by using uh, business objects called utility calculation man uh, utility collection manipulation you can delete the duplicates so next is so next requirement is Take one more ash and here to get the sheet two data to collection. Stage for removing empty rows and null rows. So, what I'm doing is I'll go to collection manipulation again. Rows from data one. I'll keep it, keep it in collection out. Then remove none of So here I will take one key field. See here I will take key field as a unit set and I will make it an input or put collection to let's link it and test it. the sheet one data to collection sheet two data to uh, another collection now we're deleting the duplicates from uh, uh, sheet one which has been split into two halves here in this part you can see the data movement uh, This is my removing row. Uh, 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 what do you say that uh, null rows? If you look into my data, this this one there is you don't see any null rows or uh, uh, here in this. And this one is for re uh, this is my main collection. Yeah, you can see there is no or uh, 
M T row here. See, and this one also is been deleted, and you can see result here in this collection here. What I am trying to say is, see, this is the collection. Uh, uh, okay, for empty rows and nulls. See, uh, the final result is stored here. You don't see empty rows. You don't see uh, null rows actually. So in this way, you can achieve uh, this requirement. Generally, see when you are dealing with uh, Excel, uh, handling Excel, uh, see Excel may have duplicates sometimes, may have nulls, may have empty data. Okay, so you can handle in this uh, in this way. Actually, this is very simple. So the advantage of Blue Prism is it has given uh, many I mean uh, options where you can handle this kind of scenarios. Okay, there are many uh, actions which are uh, available under different uh, business objects. This is one way of uh, um, fulfilling the logic. Okay. Fine. Hope you have uh, liked this logic and it is very simple. Okay. You can try it on your uh, side. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for watching my video. And uh, down the line, I, I am covering on uh, surface automation uh, application trainings as well. As well as I am also uh, uh, automating the mainframe applications. Uh, uh, see, uh, if you are interested, kindly uh, subscribe to my channel so that I can, you can get more videos from my from my side. Thank you so much. Thank you.